Okay guys, it is Friday and we've got an absolute cracker of a workout to finish the week off with. So, to start off with, you're going to do 10 alternating Spider-Man lunges and you're going to hold 5 seconds in each rep. You're then going to do 10 and 10 thoracic rotations down into a kneeling tabletop position. Um, you're then going to do ten, uh, sorry, 2 sets of 5 tuck jumps and then 5 inchworm walkouts. Once you've completed that, you're then going to do a further 2 sets of five hollow hold to snaps and you're going to hold for three seconds then you've got ten back extensions okay once we've done that guys we're then going to go into a bit of midline work today so we've got three sets 20 hollow rocks 10 v-ups then you've got 20 alternating leg raises into a 30 second hollow hold you're then going to rest one minute you're not expected to be able to get through all of those reps without taking a break, guys. So just make sure you move with quality and that you're really focusing on that engagement through your midline. We've then got a 25 minute EMOM to finish off the week. So first minute is gonna be, if you've got a barbell, 20 squat cleans. Second minute, 20 push press. Third minute, 20 hang power cleans. Fourth minute, 25 sit-ups. And your fifth minute is gonna be a rest. If you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you're going to do 20 alternating squat cleans. So that's right arm, then left, right, then left. Then you've got 10 and 10 push presses. So 10 on your left, 10 on your right. You've then got 20 American swings and then 25 sit-ups. And then your final minute is the rest. If you do not have any kit, you're going to do alternating single leg chair squats. And you're going to do 20 reps of these. So that's 10 on each leg. You're then going to do 20 press-ups. Third minute, 20 glute bridges. Fourth minute, 25 sit-ups. And your fifth minute is gonna be that rest as well. This one should be really nice and intense, guys, and a really, really good way to finish off the week. Have a good session, enjoy it, and enjoy the rest of your day. It's Friday, it's been another great week of training. Let's finish it off strong, and then we're gonna smash the Saturday workout tomorrow. So, today, guys, we've got a pretty intense EMOM to finish off the week with. Uh, it's an absolute stinker, but it's going to be a real load of fun. So, um, to start off with, we're going to do 10 alternating Spider-Man lunges and then some thoracic rotations. So, with these Spider-Man lunges today, we're going to get down into that big lunge, chest up nice and tall. And we're just going to have a five second hold in there. We did quite a lot of squats yesterday, so we're just going to loosen out again. Okay, so we're just going to go back up and then down into that Spider-Man. Five seconds hold, squeeze the butt, raise the chest, stretch out that rear hip flexor, back up, and then down into your next one. Okay, so you're gonna hit 10 of those, five each leg. Once you've done that, you're then gonna do some thoracic rotations. So you're gonna go to a tabletop position, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. You're then gonna take one hand onto the head, okay? Now, you're gonna rotate up towards the ceiling and open out this expanse okay of that rib cage you're then going to take the elbow and you're going to push it towards the opposite knee so my right elbow is going to go through to my left knee okay i'm going to rotate back up and then gently come back down okay I do 10 one on one side 10 on the other now notice that my elbow isn't bending at any point so as i'm rotating i'm not bending down i'm keeping myself nice and stable that elbow staying nice and strong and I get a good rotation through my upper thoracic up through my upper back stretching out the back of my rib cage and my lats and my shoulders okay nice and simple take your time through those have a nice smooth breath as you go through them in and out through the nose okay so that's going to be your first part you're then going to go into two sets of five tuck jumps and five inch ropes okay so remember our tuck jump is that nice little jump Knees up, good solid landing, jump, knees up, good solid landing. Okay, if you're not comfortable with these guys, just go down to a partial squat, drive up onto the toes, so you get that full extension through the hips, and you get some real good power output through that movement. You're then gonna go into five inchworm walkouts, so hinge in the hip, trying to keep the legs as straight as possible, walking forwards, hold for a second, Reach that little bit further if you feel you want to pull that midline and then walk it back out, tap the toes and then back through, okay? Nice and simple, nice and easy guys to start with. So two sets of that. You're then going to go into a bit of midline. We're going to work the front and the back. 
So we're going to go five uh, hollow hold snap ups, okay? So we're going to hold for three seconds. So we're going to go one, two, three, snap. Gently draw back out. One, two, three, snap. And then gently draw back out. So when we snap in, we're drawing through this rib cage and this belt buckle, pulling up hard together. Bang, straight through to so really contracting that midline. Then a gentle extension back out and then a pull back in. Each one's got a three second hold. If you're not comfortable with doing this, guys, then you're gonna opposite dead bug and pull back in. Opposite dead and pull back in, okay? So you're still getting that pull through that midline. You're then gonna roll over and you're gonna go 10 back extensions. So you've got a couple of options with your hands. You can either have them down by the hips, hands onto the temple or out in front. Whichever choice you go for, remember that the head does not crane upwards. So, you're gonna go squeezing the bum cheeks together, feet tight together. You're then gonna take a big belly breath, press down into the floor, gently raise up so you're getting glutes, hamstrings, mid back all engaged, upper back all engaged, and then back down. Okay, so big breath, press into the floor, drive up, and then back down, okay? Now, some people will get a little pinch in their lower back here, and that is often due to not engaging the midline first. So, imagine I'm lying down on the floor, I'm gonna take that nasal breath, and I'm gonna push hard with my belly button down into the floor, okay, and I'm pulling together. That will give me the security that I need around my mid back and my lumbar, so that I can then extend, and I'm using my muscles, all right, to create that arch position rather than hinging on a vertebrae, okay? Same as we go into our squats here, we don't want to do this, we want to work that nice spinal column and spinal loading position, okay? So two sets of that. You then go into a nice bit of midline work. We've got three sets, okay? 20 hollow rocks, 10 V-ups, 20 alternating leg raises, and then a 30 second hollow hold. After that, you get a one minute rest, okay? So I'll go through the movements. You've got 20 hollow rocks. Nice and tight with those toes. Arms fully extended over the back. Nice and smooth again. Okay, remember if you're not comfortable with that guys, you're then gonna go to a dead bug. Alternating dead bug, okay? 20 reps. Again, making sure that lower back is pressed down. Good tip here, if you have like a skipping rope or something underneath your back and you have to physically push down onto that rope, it's a really nice way of getting these a little bit better. You're then gonna go 10 V-ups, okay? So arms extended, pull up, back down, pull up, and back down, okay? Now, if like me, you're not very strong at these, you could always go alternating, or you could work a crunch in, okay? So you're just gently drawing it. We want you to make sure that we're hinging off that lumbar region rather than just raising the legs, okay? From there, guys, you're then gonna go to 20 alternating leg raises. So you're gonna tuck your hands just underneath your bum, all right? And you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way up to 20. And then from there, you're gonna hold in that hollow hold position pushing your hands down into the floor. Really, really nice and tight, okay? I've just done half of these reps and I can feel that through my midline as I'm going. So, don't expect to be able to get through the whole piece as one. You wanna take a little break, work for quality rather than quantity here, guys, okay? So, everybody, regardless of kit, it's all body weight for that piece and you'll be good to go. So, once we've done that, we're then gonna get into our 25 minute EMOM guys. We're gonna do, um, first round, we're gonna do all the barbell movements first, then I'll go on to the kettlebell, and then I'll go on to the body weight, okay? So you've got four minutes worth of work, and you've got one minute worth of rest. There's quite a high volume of movements here, guys, so make sure that you choose your loading appropriately, appropriately for you, that you can get the reps in with good quality and the time allowed. So, first off, you've got squat cleans, okay? So, ideally, we're gonna take those about that far from the floor, up and under, coming back down, touch the floor, up and under, 
and back, okay? If you're not comfortable going from the floor yet, happy for you guys to go from that hang position. All right. Once you've done that, in the one minute that you've got, you're then gonna go on to 20 push presses. So with this one, guys, you've got quite a few reps to do, so you wanna link them together. So as you bring that bar back down, you wanna catch on the shoulders, as the bar is coming down, catch, ride into your dip, and then extend out from there. You've then got 20 hang power cleans. So you're gonna go from the knee position, hinge, up and under, reset, shoot the elbows through, and get a really nice catch position, okay? What we don't want anybody doing today with those barbells is just reverse curling. Focus on the reps, focus on the positions. If you find this is too many reps for you to do in that minute, that's fine. Adjust it accordingly and also adjust your weight accordingly. Once you've done that, your fourth minute is going to be 25 sit-ups, okay? Just to finish off those abs for the day, all right? Now, if you've got a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you're going to do uh, alternating Squat cleans, okay, so 10 on one side, 10 on the other, and we're gonna go from the hike position each and every time. So we're gonna hinge, take that kettlebell, hike, up, squat clean, back down, swap hands at the hike, up and under, back down, swap hands at the hike position, up and under, and smooth, okay? So you've got 10 of those to do each arm, making 20 in total. You've then got 10 push presses each arm. So, good solid dip and drive, nice and steady. 10 one side, swap round, 10 the other side, okay? Once you've completed those reps, you're then gonna go on to 20, uh, 20 kettlebell swings in that third minute. You've got a choice, you can either do American swings or Russian, okay? So, American swing would be above the head, really extending hard through the hips, big punch, straight up and down. Russian, if you've got a bit of a heavier bell, you're gonna work just up to that eye line, okay? Your fourth minute then is gonna be your 25 sit-ups once more. If you don't have any kit, we're gonna do single leg chair squats. So you're gonna need a chair or something that is gonna be around about knee height or just underneath. And you're gonna do 10 single leg chair squats each side. So onto one foot, you're gonna sit down to the chair, push back up, sit down and push. You can alternate legs each side. Okay, so you can go up, all right, up and down. There is a crack in this chair, it's not just me being heavy, all right? So, you're gonna go 25, sorry, 20 of those, so 10 each side. Just make sure, when you're doing these, that your belt buckle's pulled, okay, rib cage is locked, and you're not wobbling all over the place, okay? You want a nice gentle seat position, and then a good, powerful drive back up. Also, make sure that you're not rocking back. So, if I was to do these, again, what we don't wanna see, is that you rock your back into that chair and then use the momentum. If you want to sit, stay over the load, shoulders over those hips, and a nice solid push out, guys, okay? From there, you're then going to do press-ups. So we're going to go for 20 press-ups. So again, three options. Full press-up, half kneeling, a snake. Okay, those are your three options. Your third minute is then going to be spent doing 25 glute bridges. Try not to just rush these and pump these out. Just get a nice squeeze of the glutes and the hamstrings at the top. Pulling that belt buckle on. And remember, loading down from that upper back to lower back. Okay? 
In your fourth minute, you again have those 25 sit-ups. Your fifth minute, you'll be pleased to know, is a rest, okay? So it's gonna be four minutes of intense work, one minute of rest. This should be an absolute crack of a workout, guys. It's 25 minutes. Get yourself going and uh, push through into the weekend. Have a lovely day, guys.